Hey guys, Aslan here with a quick review of Blackwood Crossing. Blackwood Crossing is a short, first-person, story-driven adventure game. The story centers around two orphans, Scarlet, her little brother Finn, and the relationship between them. You play as Scarlet, and you have always been close with your brother Finn, but as you matured and developed new interests, the relationship between the two of you has become distant. You wake up suddenly on a train ride with Finn, and the two of you embark on a magical journey as you explore love, life, and loss. The story was intriguing, and the ending was fine, although I wasn't completely satisfied with how little backstory there was, and I was still left wanting to know more. The gameplay requires you to follow Finn and another mysterious character while solving some puzzles along the way. Sometimes you need to find items or use magic to move on, and other times you need to put together both parts of a conversation in the correct order to open up the magical barriers. Using magic and carrying fire in the palm of your hand is pretty neat and all, but it was more or less take the fire, walk somewhere else with it, and then put it down again. I really wish they had let me do more with the magic. One thing that slightly bothered me was the slow character movement. It feels a lot slower than necessary, especially with a good amount of back and forth as you listen to all the dialogue and put it in the correct order. The environments look pretty and the characters look decent. I don't have any complaints about the visual design. However, the game is ported to PC from the PS4, and the frame rates are capped at 30 FPS. The performance seemed a little bit choppy at times. Hopefully they add options to up the frame rate cap to at least 60, or just completely unlock it altogether. Where are the scissors? Try the planetarium! The sound effects are fine, and the voice acting is decent. The soundtrack is very good, and I really like the instrumentals. The key bindings are not customizable, but there is full controller support. The game took me a bit over two hours, but it can be done in less than two. With the story being linear, there's not really any reason to replay it unless you want achievements. Blackwood Crossing is a very short game, and the game is a lot more slow-paced and less exciting than the Steam trailer made it look. I liked it, and I thought it was intriguing, but it also felt like it was lacking substance and depth as well. I think I could have enjoyed it a lot more if there were more details and backstory for the characters. All in all, I feel indifferent about Blackwood Crossing. I'm sure some people will enjoy the game, but I wish there was more to it. I hope this review has helped you. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and post your feedback in the comments below. Thanks everyone, and have a wonderful day!